beautiful party people. I am here on my lovely TikTok live. Please let me know if you are watching the live or the replay. Also, like, kind of comment down below where you're from. I'm curious. I've gained probably over 5,000 new followers fairly recently on this platform as well as other platforms. And I'm curious where all my beautiful people are from. So let me know where you're from. Um, and yeah, we're going to dive into it today. Let me know if you guys have any comments or questions, but I'm mainly here to talk about love. I feel like there's been a lot of people in my world that have been requesting um, courses such as like how to get them obsessed with you, like how to tap into this feminine magnetism um, and all this fun stuff. And so if you're someone that... You know, whether you want to admit it or not, you're interested in learning how to utilize certain universal principles to get them to be obsessed with you. Um, I have wonderful news because I have an amazing new course dropping in my $100 a month membership, which is the How to Get Them Obsessed With You course. So today's live, hi Kea, is going to all be about how... If people in your love life are not showing up accordingly, how you have 100% control to change it. I know it sounds a little weird, it might sound a little hippy-dippy or, you know, what, what type of magic is this? But I assure you it's no magic, it's nothing weird, it's nothing hippy-dippy. We are, and I'm just going to explain this in the term of universal principles. So if you're able to, you know, tap that like button, comment, drop down some emojis or even questions for engagement, it helps boost this out there to more and more people. But today we're going to be talking all about obsession, how to get people obsessed with you, like how to be in a scenario where you break these love patterns. You know, you go from attracting emotionally unavailable to available. You go from people who are not chasing you to chasing you. You go from people not interested, not prioritizing you to you're the one I want to spend the rest of my life with. How do you do that? What is that magic formula? That is literally what's dropping in my membership. And so I've had, I've literally just spent the past 30 minutes answering these same questions in my Instagram DMs. If you're not already following me there, I definitely recommend it um, because I announce all different kinds of sales and stuff like that over there. But let's dive into it. Has anyone been in a scenario where I would love for you guys to make this live engaging so that way it can be of the greatest benefit and service to you, but who in here has some bad relationship patterns that they would like to break. I'm gonna be using these relationship patterns as teaching examples in this live. So if you wanna comment down any patterns that you may have, I'm gonna to speak to them in a universal law, universal principle type of manner so that you can first be educated about where these patterns come from and two, understand how to break it, which is exactly what we're doing in the Manifestation Mastery Membership starting um, on the 1st. And so when it comes to this situation, let's just pretend for these patterns, you know what I mean? We can, we can start um, some out by saying, let's say you're in a scenario where you're attracting people who are not choosing you, where you as a woman or you as a man have to go and search. You have to go and search uh, for people and even when you have crushes on people, you desire people, they just don't want you back. They just don't pursue you back. They just don't reciprocate back. If anything, you have to move into being in a space where you are people-pleasing, over-loving, over-giving, over-compensating. This is considered to be a pattern. Now, what we know per universal law is there are three main universal laws I'm going to be going over today. The first universal law is how you see yourself dictates how others see you. Now, my people who are placing your value, self-worth on someone else over yourself, this is called a self-concept issue. 
So if you are in a scenario where you have low self-esteem, low self-confidence, you don't think very highly of yourself, you are the overgiver, overcarer, overlover, overnurturer, overforgiving, you know, you kind of get walked all over. If you've ever heard the phrase, um, you know, good people finish last, you know, you're a person of integrity. But sometimes having over integrity is actually just a coping mechanism that we have developed during our childhood days when we kind of misinterpreted um, ourselves. We saw ourselves or were made to see ourselves as inadequate, as lesser than, as people, you know, um, that are not chosen, not loved, not wanted, not however you want to put it. And so people who want to learn how to get other people obsessed with you, that's literally what's going down in the membership. And this is the first step of it. It has to be self-concept first. So think of it this way. What is a limiting belief that you have about yourself? Maybe it's I'm not loved. Maybe it's I'm not chosen. I'm not cherished. I'm not worshipped. I'm not adored. I'm never the priority. I'm never the chosen one. Well, whatever that is, and it's going to be several of them, that's literally the uh, how do I say you if you have one of those gaps in your self concept, you will only be able to be physically attracted to, which is weird, um, the people who make you feel that way. The people who make you feel that way. So if you have a belief system that says, I'm not good enough, I'm not worth it, I'm not deserving of you know, these partners or these nice things, you will only be turned on, you will only be attracted to, you will only be interested in at an unconscious level, the people that will validate that for you. Because we are only able to be attracted to people at the level of our current wounds. So if someone is actually more integrated than you, you will be turned off by them. You will not even see them. You will not even be interested in them because how you see yourself is how others will show up for you and it will be what you're attracted to. In a weird way, when we are ghosted, when we are not chosen, when we are not prioritized, it actually kind of turns us on. This is a weird concept. Stick with me here. In the sense of we seek the evidence that proves us to be true. So if your underlying subconscious pattern is I'm not loved, worthy, chosen, cherished, special, wanted, prioritized, all the things I just listed, right? It could be one, it could be all, it could be others. Um, you will actually seek out the people to hurt you so that you can prove that to be true. Because the brain works in a confirmation bias type of manner, which is why your friends are able to be like, what do you see in that guy? There's nothing good about him. What do you see in that woman? There's nothing good about her. But you can't see it because you have these rose-colored glasses on. You're like, no, they're, but they're so amazing. No, but they're so incredible. No, but they're so this, they're so that. And they're really not much of anything at all. They're just sitting here to validate your wounds. Because in many instances, like think of it this way. There's nothing attractive or worthy of a man sitting here and continuing to make you question yourself, doubt yourself, make you feel less worthy. But you're kind of in a weird way attracted to it because in a weird way, he or she is validating you by not validating you in order to prove you to be true, which is why you have a weird codependent pattern with that person. You have this weird codependent pattern with it where you're actually attracted to it and you actually can't get rid of it and you don't want to get rid of it. And if anything, it just makes you want to go into more overgiving, more overpleasing, more overdoing so that you can continue to do that and still be proven right that it's not enough. Has anyone ever give, give, give and give some more and it still wasn't enough? It still wasn't enough showing it has nothing to do with the giving and it has everything to do with the self-concept and you can give until you're blue in the face and pass out on the floor you know what i mean and it's not gonna matter a dang bit to that person not because they have no empathy not because they truly genuinely don't care for you 
It's because you were attracted to someone that had to play out a pattern for you. We are attracted to people so that they can play out patterns so that you can discover the pattern and heal the pattern so that you may elevate, okay? That's what they're there for. So I want you to think of it this way to try to apply some empathy to those people. Let's say as an example, you're kind of attracting a low level guy. <laughs> That's what I'll call it. Um, okay, someone who's not really being serious, someone who's not treating you with kindness or for my gents, a low level woman. Someone who's just sitting here and trying to use you, be rude, not a woman of integrity. Um, and so when you are in that type of pattern, right? You wanna be in a scenario where step number one, you gotta be able to identify it, right? You've got to be able to identify it. Hang on. I was going somewhere with this little rant and I feel like I lost my point of where I was trying to go. Oh, hang on a second. It's going to come back to me. What was I just talking about before? Sorry, guys. My mind, my mind kind of blinked. I got, a, um, I got a notification and it kind of threw off my brain a little bit. I'm trying to figure out where I was going with my last point. Mm, I don't know if I'm going to have it right now. That's fine. That's fine. I'll move on to my next point. I guess I can't remember where I was actually going with that, actually. Um, but everything ties into, you know, itself anyway. So that's point number one. Okay, point number one is all about you will only attract people and you will only be attracted to people who are able to play out a pattern for you so that you can identify the pattern and heal the pattern, Okay. There's a lot of different ways to heal patterns. You know, there's emotional work, there's inner work, there is subconscious rewiring, there is, um, you know, emotional regulation, nervous system regulation. There's like so many different methods to be able to do this. And all of it happens in the $100 membership in the link in my bio. Um, it all feeds into one another, which is what I'm here to really talk to you guys about. And so, um, and that's why, we, oh yes, now I remember my point. Thank you. Um, and that's why we can't wait for someone to save us. Absolutely. Because the same pattern will repeat with a different person until you heal the pattern. That's why like the people you're attracting now are just derivatives of your exes. Ever notice how the people you're attracting right now, they're just derivatives of the last three guys or gals you entertained. They're nothing better. They're nothing worse. They're kind of like the same. And if anything, it's only getting worse over time and it's only making you feel more hopeless over time. Oh yeah. So this is what I was going to say. I want you to think of it as this way because we can only attract people based on how we see ourselves. So if we don't see ourselves as worthy, deserving, chosen, special, wanted, desirable, prioritized, like the prize, it will not work. Now, I want you to think of it this way. It's not because these people think that you're just crap, you know, you're just shit and you deserve to be treated miserably. Although sometimes our human mind and our emotional mind can take us there. I want you to think of it this way. I want you to imagine in this funny little scenario, and I actually said this, I think in one of the videos in the Manifestation Mastery membership. I want you to imagine God, okay? I know that maybe some people might be religious, might not. For the comical nature of this example, I want you to imagine God, okay? I want you to believe in him for a, a few moments here, just to explain this. So I want you to imagine God, okay? And in this little visual, it's gonna be funny, okay? So be prepared for my sense of humor. Now, this is a rogue God, okay? This is a God that's like a little bit on the edgy side. So I want you to imagine God has a gun, okay? God has a gun, all right? And I want you to also imagine that there's almost like this triangle, okay? So you're here at the bottom left, okay? That's you. And I want you to imagine that all the conversations, thoughts, belief systems that you have go to God, universe, source, whatever you believe in, right? And then what happens is, comes back down, you are met with the people, places, situations in the bottom right corner that prove that to be true to you, just like I said in this example. So your belief systems and everything like that is your communication with God, universe, source of what you want more of. The problem is all the belief systems, thoughts, and focus that we have are not always beneficial. It is a myriad because we are humans of both positive and negative belief systems, positive and negative focus, positive and negative expectations. And it's almost like we put that in a blender, we put that and make it into a smoothie, and that is our 3D reality where it's comprised of some good, some bad, some in between. But it's always just a reflection 
of where we are within our own selves and within our own energy being shown back to us. And so this is what I want you to think of. When you have these bad thoughts and beliefs about yourself, right? They go and they ping up to God, okay? Universe, source, however you want to put it. And now God takes that command and he goes and he visits that person, okay? He visits that person. And God comes to that person and says, you know what? Kaya said that she is not good enough. If you try to treat her as good enough, I will blow your freaking brains out all over this concrete. You know, maybe it's not Kaya. Maybe it's Asiya, right? Um, you know, Asiya is having a conversation with God through her unconscious, subconscious beliefs, thoughts, emotions, and she feels like she's never chosen. She's never the priority. So God goes to whoever might be, you know, attracted to Asiya or whoever Asiya is entertaining and goes, this woman said to me, she is not chosen. If you choose her, I will blow your brains all over this concrete right now. And so I want you to understand where I'm going with this is people don't have a choice but to actually ghost you, disrespect you, lie to you, cheat on you. You know what I mean? Not show up for you, not choose you, not prioritize you. In many instances, we've been made to feel the victim of other people. Other people are not making us a victim. It is us actually victimizing ourselves because some part of us actually kind of wants to stay stuck, wants to stay familiar. At the end of the day, think of it this way. If you were in a scenario, you know what I mean? If you were in a scenario where you actually just got everything that you've ever wanted, that would mean you'd actually have to let go of your limiting beliefs to keep it. It actually have to be mean you'd have to let go of your limiting beliefs to keep it. A lot of people are not willing to trade their limiting beliefs for everything they've ever wanted. They're not. As terrible, as bad as it is to say, they're not. In a weird way, those beliefs are benefiting you because they feel safe, they feel warm, they feel cozy, they keep you stuck. You don't have to worry about the unknown. You don't have to trust. You don't have to have faith. You know what I mean? And so that's, that's that. And so... That's the first thing that I want you to understand is you need to move out of a victim consciousness and into an empowered consciousness. You are not a victim to other people. And if anything, I would almost see the other people as the victim. I don't like to think that other people are sitting here and getting a sadistic kick out of ghosting you, a sadistic kick out of lying to you or misleading you, but they're playing their role so that you can become more conscious of the pattern, identify it, and heal it, which is your obligation. You have no control over maybe the limitations that you have developed or that were imposed upon you. You don't have control over that, right? But you have 100% control over what you do with it from here on out moving forward. That's just real talk. So that's universal principle number one. That's universal principle number one. Universal principle number two. So number one, just to recap, how you see yourself is how other people will show up and treat you. Okay, how you see yourself is how other people will show up and treat you. If you think you're not worthy, not good enough, not a priority, not deserving, you know, not important, not this, not that, not the priority, other people, you will only be attracted to the people who can hurt you in that manner. Which is why it just keeps seeing, seeming like the bad gets worse. You know what I mean? The bad gets worse. Oh, just another person to validate this. And then when they do, you're like, yep, see, that's why I'm never chosen. Yep, see, that's why I'm never the priority. Yep, see, that's why I'm always the bridesmaid and never the bride. And so you have to first understand what's going wrong in order to fix it, in order to heal it. That's what we do inside this membership. That's what we do. Why do we get caught in cold behavior? Could be a lot of different reasons, but a lot of them could derive from self-concept. Maybe you don't think that you're worthy. Maybe you don't think that you're deserving. Maybe you don't think that people will actually show up and show genuine interest, uh, interest in you. Maybe you have a bad belief about other people. You don't think that they're gonna be interested. You always think, oh, when's the shoe gonna drop? You know what I mean? It can come from seven different areas. It can come from seven different areas. Think about it. Think about it this way. Let's pretend we all had just three universal beliefs that all of us shared. 
One of them is I'm not good enough. One of them is I'm not worthy. One of them is I'm not chosen. Let's pretend everyone on this live, everyone who's gonna watch the replay, continue to like it, continue to share it, continue to engage with it. Engage with it. Let's pretend we all had those, right? How many different ways can somebody hurt you or make you feel not good enough? Like a, a, a bajillion, literally a bajillion. They can make you feel not good enough by ghosting you. They can make you feel not good enough by cheating on you. They can make you feel not good enough by being in and out. They can make you feel good enough by using you when they want to and when it's convenient, but not, you know, giving you what you want. They cannot meet your needs. They can um, love bomb you. They can come in and out. They can use you like a revolving door. They can hit on your best friend. They can mislead you with their intentions just to find out that they were something else. I mean, you can, there's literally a hundred million different options here <laughs> that someone could make you just feel one of those. Now, imagine we don't have just one limiting belief. We have many. <laughs> we probably have at least five to seven and that's if you're really healed, <laughs> um, if not a dozen. You know what I mean? And, but all of them are working for the greater good. All of them are working for the greater good. <coughs> Sorry. To make you identify with them so that you can heal them. And so remember that. You know what I mean? So that's universal principle number one. You will only be attracted to. And you will only get the people who validate your insecurities, limiting beliefs, worries, concerns. Universal principle number two, okay? And you're not the victim. If anything, as weird as it is to say, they kind of are, um, but they're just there to play their part to trigger you so that you can heal out of that wound and like, you know, elevate up and glow up. Universal principle number two. Like I said, guys, because I see a lot of people coming in and out, I just want to, you know, reiterate a couple things. I'm going to end up repeating it a couple times. Is this is all going down in the How to Get Them Obsessed with You course? That's $100 in the link in my bio. It's the Manifestation Mastery course. So please do grab that. Um, all of the principles that I'm talking about are things that we go over in that membership. And so, How to Get Them Obsessed with You is August's course that's dropping in the membership. I still recommend you jump in and join today because you still need to go through the courses of self-concept and EFT tapping in order for the obsession course to work. And so I recommend literally running to the link in my bio, grabbing it, downloading the access so that you can begin because obsession and how to get someone obsessed with you is an art form that you have to learn. And this is not doing it in any weird ways, dark psychology, anything weird, voodoo, magic, nothing like that. This is just utilizing universal principles because everybody has to show up for you the way that you expect them to or the way that you think you deserve to be treated. It's only those two manners. So moving on to universal principle number two. Okay, principle number two is all about, first one, how you see yourself is how others show up and treat you. Universal principle number two, how you see others dictates how they show up for you too. So this is a two-parter. It's not just how you see yourself is how others show up. I could see myself as a 10 out of 10, okay? I could maybe not even have a self-concept issue. I know I'm the best. I know I'm the greatest. I know I'm irreplaceable. I know I'm unforgettable. I know nobody can touch me. But I could expect that men are garbage, men are trash, men lie, men cheat, women steal, women use, women are liars. And even if, even if I'm fully good and solid on my side of the street, I don't have any worthiness issues, deservingness issues, codependency issues, I don't got none of that. But if I believe that men are gonna be crap men will show up and treat me like crap to validate that, okay? They will do that. Um, and so this is where sometimes there will be people who know they're the bee's knees and yet love still won't work for them. Why is that? It's because how they see people is how people show up. This is called the Pygmalion effect. 
The Pygmalion effect is all about how your unconscious expectations of other people will be how other people show up and show out for you or don't show out for you. <laughs> um, it will be how other people show up and treat you. And so making sure that these two sing in unison, you need both of these to be balanced in order for you to get someone obsessed with you. So not only do we need to do the healing on our side of the street, let go of the limiting beliefs and the subconscious patterns in the brain and do the rewiring in the brain to be in a scenario, right? Um, where you feel good enough, you feel worthy, you break that codependency, you stop being emotionally rocked by what other people are doing. Because let me tell you this, even if you try to do this obsession work on your own and you don't touch self-concept and you have self-concept issues, you will get them and you will still be anxious. You will get them and they will not fully change. You will get them just to lose them. And so remember, all parts of the piece of the puzzle are necessary. It's a requirement. It's a requirement because getting them and them not being fully changed and you not being fully healed doesn't mean a damn thing. You didn't get a prize, you got a punishment. I have worked with so many women and so many men that they come to me when everything else isn't working and they just do the very simple strategies and structures that I put together and oh my gosh, all of a sudden it works. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's because people are only teaching you parts and not the whole. I teach you the whole. We go to the root and we challenge you at the deep level so that you can fundamentally heal these patterns so that they can stop showing up and you can actually just get what you want now. The average person in our world sees results in the first two weeks. There are some people on this app manifesting for two years. There are other people on this app manifesting for four years. I was blown away. I was flabbergasted. I was like, that is a collegiate bachelor's degree. Who is manifesting for four years? That's not even called manifesting. Pardon my French, but it's just not. Not in my books, at least. And so when it comes to this situation, we are attracting these people to heal the patterns. So the first step, we've got to take care of ourselves. How we see ourselves will always be how others show up for us, especially if you're in a scenario where you're trying to get people to become obsessed with you. That side of the road has got to be clean. It's got to be squeaky clean. Other side, how you see others. You cannot expect people to be shit because your ex was, the previous ex before that was, the previous ex before that was. Think about it this way. Would you want somebody else to be like, oh yeah, all the girlfriends I had were shit, so you're probably going to be shit. It's like, excuse me? You should like, you know, leave your past in the past. That doesn't need to be projected on me. Okay, and, and same thing for the ladies. If you're like in a scenario where you're like, well, I don't expect that there's good men out there. I don't expect that someone can meet all my needs. That's why I'm gonna be single forever and just take care of myself. You know what I mean? It's like, okay, well then just don't expect the love of your life to come in. Just don't expect people to show up and treat you different. If that's the way you wanna live and die on that hill, then live and die on that hill. Like my dad says, suffer in silent and be strong then. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Cause you know what I mean? It's like, you can't punish other people for other people's letdowns. And you have to also take the personal accountability for the fact that you have had influence over every letdown you've had. That does not mean you have to sit here and blame yourself, but it means that you have to first become aware of patterns to heal them, okay? You have so much more influence over the people and how they show up for you than what you could possibly even imagine. But you've gotta be willing to trust in these patterns. This is not a, a blame game. And if you're sitting here and trying to point fingers, you're not even ready for a healing journey to begin with because everything is just for the greater good of you elevating. And until you can get into that type of mentality, this work is going to fly right over your head. You know, it's just not even going to work for you. And so you've got to be able to understand first universal principle, how you see yourself is how others show up for you. How you see others is also how others show up for you. So I'll give you examples right here before we go to the principle number three. 
let's say I have a zero out of 10 self-concept. I don't think I'm good enough. I don't think I'm worthy. I don't think I'm deserving. I will attract men or women to come in and wound me in 7,200 different ways to prove that to be true. Because how I see myself will be how others treat me, how others show up for me. So they can do that by lying, cheating, ghosting, you know what I mean? Using so many different things. Principle number two. So let's say, let's say I have a low self-concept, but I expect people, let's, let's combine them actually. Let's say I have a low self-concept plus a high concept of other people, meaning that I think I'm shit, you know what I mean? But I expect that people are good. How will that show up? It will show up where people will be temporarily good and have a mask on. But then after a period of time, your people pleasing gets kicked into high gear, the mask comes off and they start to love bomb you, treat you like shit, withdraw. Um, maybe they have an anxious attachment style. You run away, they run away and you're triggering each other and it's a toxic relationship. That's what that is. Let's say you have a high self-concept. You think you're the bee's knees and everything else in the kitchen sink, a, a hundred out of 10, forget a 10 out of 10. Plus you think... You think because you have a low, so you're going to have a high self-concept and now a low concept of people. So high self-concept, low self-concept of people. So what that's going to be, you know, you're the bee's knees, but you expect that men are trash. You expect that women are users. You expect that men are garbage. You expect that, you know, there's not a lot of good women out there. I can't find wifey. I can't find hubby. High value men or women are sparse. I don't get to meet those type of people every single day. Um, they're rare. I never, you know, get what I want in relationships, whatever it might be. And then what happens is you only get the losers. You only get the people that can't give you what you want. You only get the people that are not on the same page as you. You only get the people that treat you like shit or whatever, whatever the belief is, right? Because people are always going to prove you to be true. That's how the world works. And so until we can get both of these singing in unison, meaning high self-concept, high concept of people, you will continue to repeat patterns until the day you die. So you can do this work now. You can do this work 10 years from now. It doesn't really matter to me. But what matters is that you become aware to do it. You know what I mean? It's like whenever you're trying to really get serious about changing things, it's like you're going to have to do this sooner or later. So I'm not really worried. I'm just sitting here pieced out in the like chill train. I don't, I don't care. I'm just here to give, do my good, good you know, gesture, my due diligence to let you know. This is why no matter how hard you try, no matter what red nail fairy you use, no matter how low cut your top is, no matter how successful you are, no matter how many you know, figures you have in the bank, you can't get ahead. It's either one, it's either the other, it's either both. Now the third universal principle is what you focus on. Yeah, you'll pay more later. So it's like, when do you want to? Um, third universal principle. What you focus on grows. So where your focus goes, your energy flows. It's basically kind of like that. So you can be in a scenario where you're like, I know I'm amazing, but you're focused on all the things that are going wrong. You're focused on all the things that are going wrong. What happens? Well, when you focus on the bad, the bad gets worse. When you focus on the good, the good gets better. Well, how do you focus on the good when the bad is happening? You have to re-regulate your nervous system for the reactions you're having physically, mentally, emotionally when things go bad. You have to reprime your nervous system. Without a balanced, calm, regulated nervous system, it will none of it will work. You could do the work on self-concept, you can do the work on people, but if you're a volcano erupting every time something goes wrong, if you panic and flight and uh, fight and flight and freeze and fawn and all these other things, you know, you uptown flip and reverse it, you know what I mean? It's like, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. And so a regulated, calm, you know, nervous system is the key. Because the goal here, and I'm going to be very transparent, I'm very honest, unlike other creators, is like, I'm going to tell you that, you know, certain things are going to be shit for a little bit until they get better. But it's going to work better than anything you've ever done, because at least I'm being honest with you. 
And so in this scenario, yeah, it takes me three to four days to regulate. Absolutely. It shows that you need to do more work on your nervous system. Luckily, there's a full EFT tapping course in the $100 membership, the $100 a month membership, the Manifestation Mastery membership. That's what I'm talking about here. And so every single step I've gone over with you, every single universal principle I have gone over with you is literally in a $100 membership. And it's in the link in my bio. And if you have any questions on it, drop it. I am going to break that membership down. Um, I am mixed culture. I am Indian as well as American, like Caucasian. So I have a mixed background. Anyway, getting on track. Um, so what we're focusing on is going to end up growing. You ever notice that, you know, maybe you have a girl group, maybe you have a guy group, right? And the guys in the group, if you, if you have a guy group, it's like, maybe they're just all complaining about how women are users. You know what I mean? All these women, they just want to use, they just want to use, they just want to take advantage of. Do you ever notice how those men only get the users? They only get the users. You ever have a girl group, right? You have a girl group and the girl group is like, I only get guys that cheat on me. And she only gets guys that cheat on her. What you focus on has a tremendous amount of power because that's your conversation with God, universe, source. God takes feedback from you, takes feedback from you. So whatever you're focusing on, whatever you're talking about all the time, if it's negative in nature, you probably have negative things chasing you down every corner. You're having car bills, you're having things, you know, happen. You know, people are not treating you kindly. If you have these negative things that are constantly in your self-talk, that are constantly in your belief systems, that are constantly impacting other people, that's what is causing the things to occur. You may think that the belief is justifiable, right? The belief is justifiable because other people are doing that. That is backwards. You have to first take accountability that it is because I have this that this is happening, if I get rid of this, there is actually a 0% chance of it to ever happen again for the rest of my life. There is actually a 0% chance because that would actually have to defy the law of physics. And I don't know about you. I don't know about me. But what I know is that you're not a special snowflake. What I know is that when you wake up in the morning, gravity catches you just like everyone freaking else. And so what I know is that if you do this work, if you change your belief systems, if you shift your expectations, if you actually freaking listen to what I'm saying and you heal this, you don't have a way to fail because that would actually have to mean that the law of physics doesn't work for you. That would actually have to mean that the law of physics in general is bullshit. And so understand that this is a hundred percent success rate as long as you do it, right? As long as you do it, you can't sit here and say, okay, I got the information, but nothing has changed. Well, if nothing has changed, it means you haven't really integrated, embodied, and embedded the information. This is not rocket science. This is not brain surgery. This is not rocket science. This is just do the things as they've been instructed, and the negative things will go away. <laughs> You will attract your husband. You will attract your wife. <laughs> this will be what happens. And not because I say so, because that is how universal law works. You know, this is outside of my pay grade. I don't run universal law. I just teach it. And so I'm teaching you how to hack universal law for something that has a 100% success rate. Because it's not possible for you to shift your limiting beliefs and your reality to still be shitty. It's not. Like, I love to burst your bubble on that. I love to burst your bubble on that. If you still have a shitty reality of some kind, it just means you haven't shifted it. And that's really easy to do with these slight adjustments that I go over in the membership. And so this is a wonderful question right here. Thank you for my eyebrow compliment. Eyebrow, eyebrows on fleek. I just got them waxed, so it's beautiful. Um, what to do if I can't see my SP in a different light? This is going to be tough for you to hear. But like I said, I stick by what I said. I'm a very honest person. You have two options if you can't see an SP differently. One, work with us. We'll help you to see them differently through our courses, programs, or one-on-one -on -one coaching. We've helped thousands of people get their SPs. Two, give up. Sink on, let, let that sink in for a second. Um, I say that. I say that because... There is no way 
to get a bypass card from the universe and say, you know what, you've been through a lot. Here's just $200 and collect, you know, Pasco. It's either put up or shut up. It's either change your expectation or give up on them. You know what I mean? Like these are the options. Like, do you want A or B? <laughs> Which one do you want? Um, and so understanding that the first and foremost for anyone who has an SP scenario is you've got to be selfish enough to put you first. Too many people are still in codependency trying to maintain this thing with this person that is subpar at best that continues to trigger you month after month, year after year. And then you wonder why you're not ahead in life. It's not a surprise. It's not a surprise to me. You know what I mean? It's because you will not cut the cord and have your own inward self-respect, self-love, and self-priority. It is not until you're in a scenario where your desire to heal and feel better is your number one priority that this SP will even give a shit about you. Think of it this way. Every day you continue to affirm for your SP, you're doing it wrong. Because your SP is based upon you. If you're not doing self-concept work or if the self-concept work hasn't been working, you're either not doing it or you're not doing it right. And so the sooner that you can lay down boundaries and say, you know what? What would happen if I clicked my fingers and if you have an SP desire that you had that SP right here and right now, do you honestly mean to look me in the eye and say that you think you could keep it with the type of self-concept issues that are deep down inside of you, with the type of negative expectations that you have about this person based on how they've hurt you in the past? Oof, like that's going to hit some people in the gut. It is not going to last. And I think people are living in this la-la delusional fantasy world where they're trying to have their limiting beliefs and have their person too. And it's just causing them more pain. It's like, when do you desire to be pain-free? Whenever you desire that, call me. <laughs> get the link in my bio. You know what I mean? Like get into coaching. Because... He or she is never going to show up better until you actually start to heal yourself. The problem is you've got to actually want to heal yourself. You've got to want to put this person on the side, knowing temporarily that your ability to heal is the thing that brings them back. Without your healing, they can never change. And you might as well take that person and put them in the garbage at the end of the road and let the trash man come around for them because they will literally be useless. You will continue to get hurt by them over and 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 over again until you're blue in the face. Until you're blue in the face. And then after that, because nothing changes if nothing changes. So this is all a you thing. You know what I mean? It's like either you can be in a scenario where you give up or you can be in a scenario where you try to work with a professional and have them give you the guide on how to do that. You know what I mean? These are the options. I don't even know how to invent a third option. You know what I mean? Because it's like this is just how I see it. It's like you either give up or you either you either shift it. Like these, this is this is the hand, you know? Because a third option would imply that a universal law has a loophole and it doesn't, you know, it just doesn't. And so I can't, I can't help in that manner. All right, guys. So these are the three universal principles that are helpful to be able to get people to be obsessed with you. Now, is anybody here for money out of curiosity, just for two seconds, anybody here want to increase their money, 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 money. I'm going to talk a little bit more about obsession in a second, but I just want to be able to make sure that I have addressed people's concerns if they have any. Yes, money. Okay, perfect. Let me talk about money for two seconds before going back to obsession. I hope you stay for this. So when it comes to money, owie, my hand, <laughs> it's getting cramped. Um, so when it comes to money, first thing you need to understand is money responds to your belief system. I have been in scenarios where I have paid 
multiple six figures to mentors, masterminds, you know, gurus to be able to learn from them. And I have a gentleman that I work with now who makes about a million dollars a week. Okay, he has like an over $80 million company. I have another woman that I work with that has built an $80 million empire. You know, these people make million dollars a week, million dollars to $2 million a month. Um, my astrological sign is the dollar sign. Love that. Um, and so I am around people who make big money, you know, and that's because of the law of exposure. The people that you surround yourself with will be able to elevate you. Like, you know, you're the sum of the five people you spend the most time with. Um, and so, yeah, there's a lot of truth to that, right? Because a lot of times people don't ever evolve out of their friendship group, if that makes sense. And so, yeah, let's talk about money for a second. There have been times in my world where I was sitting here worried about an algorithm, worried about hashtags, worried about how to get my you know content out there to people, worried about X, Y, or Z. And when I was worried about those things, um, I was making the lowest amount of money ever in my business. Instead, when I focused on what are my limiting beliefs for why I can't achieve my financial goal, whether it was a limitation about the actual flow of money. See, look, my hand is like dented from how much I've been holding my phone <laughs> and my hand is sore. Um, and, and or my limitation about business or other people showing up for me um, when that was my primary focus. I was making six figures plus a month. I was able to generate that type of money. And so being in a scenario where you have to understand how money works, money is responding to your belief systems, similar to what we just went over in love. And so if you have a business, you have two parts to this. You have to audit your belief systems, your thoughts, your expectations, your energetic frequency, however you want to put it around money itself. You know, did you grow up watching mom and dad slave away? And so there is an unconscious program in there that says you have to work super hard for money. And so therefore, no matter how hard you try in your career or your business, you've always been made to work really, really hard to get money. Well, we've got to deprogram and reprogram ease um, like deprogram the stress, you know, and the, the struggle and reprogram ease to be able to get the, you know, raises, get the influx of clients, whatever it may be. And then the second part of it for any people who are business owners is you have to, first of all, make sure your money energy is really pure and clean. That's the best way I put it. Um, is also auditing what are your expectations around, you know, your business, clients, people flowing in, people purchasing your product. Um, I can't sit here and wait for people to validate my coaching, my products, my services, my intellect, whatever it may be, in order for me to feel accomplished, successful, or like people will show up and buy. And so being in a scenario where you're able to audit both sides of this equation, some people, they're having a, I'm not deserving of money. I have to work hard for money. Um, I can't achieve 10K months. I can't achieve 20K months. I can't achieve X, Y, or Z, right? I'm not good enough. I'm not deserving. Other people have less. It's bad for me to make more. Could be a lot of different things. You know what I mean? I'm just talking about, you know, first generation American beliefs, you know? You might not have been in such a bad scenario that I was in. And so, you know what I mean? Like it, it, could, be, it could be different. You could have been in a scenario where you actually had money. You just want more money. You could be in a scenario where you're doing 50K months and now you want to do 100K months. Hang on. <coughs> we need water. I've been talking too long. Okay, perfect. And so in that situation, like that's step one, getting your energy clean about money. Problem is in your whole life, when have you actually sat down and even like asked yourself, what are your programs or unconscious beliefs about money? When have you ever even sat down and audited your belief system? Because your current money reality is completely based on your belief system and like 
it's probably all come from childhood. It's probably all come from mom and dad. It's probably all come from your coworkers. It's probably all come due to your race or religion or your beliefs about your career or what you think is possible for you. And all of that has to be deprogrammed in order to be reprogrammed with something more favorable, right? Second part of that is for people that have certain businesses, right? And they sell things or whatever it, whatever it is in the business, um, is, Money, having a good belief about money, right? Having a good belief that money's abundant, money's hard, to, uh, money's easy, money's um, easy to flow, whatever. And then also like, I'm good enough, I'm worthy, I'm deserving. Like that's one side of it. The other side of it is, what is my you know belief system about my worthiness in my business? What is my belief system about my good enoughness in my business? Oopsies. Okay. Um... What is my belief system about clients flowing, about products being purchased? What is my belief system around my pricing? What is my belief system around other people's ability to purchase my pricing, my products, my services? What is my belief system about my value? Um, it's, it's more multifaceted. And the reason I bring this up just for two seconds for people that um, you know are interested in money is because money is just a byproduct and it, it's just an amplifier of like the person that you are, right? And the person that you become. So if right now you are making less money than you'd like and you're worried like, oh, but who am I gonna be with more money? The truth is you're just gonna be more yourself with more money. You're just gonna be more yourself, <laughs> like more who you are. That's a weird concept, let me explain that. If right now you're super stingy with money, even though you do have a decent amount, when you get more money, the only thing that's going to be amplified is probably your stinginess. You know what I mean? You're probably going to be one of those people that has money, but just doesn't want to give up a penny. Um, if you're in a scenario where you're very giving and very generous, no matter the dollar amount in your bank, um, when you get more money, you're just going to be more generous, right? Money is an amplifier of who you already are. Okay, so it's not anything fancier. It's just being able to have the comfort, the padding, the luxury of more digits in the bank balance, more money that is readily accessible through being who you are. Um, I think I need to have a career to have good money. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing, right? How is that story benefiting you? It's benefiting you in the sense of um, if I have a business, well, then my business has to fail to prove me right. People need to not buy my service to prove me right because I, I think that I need to have a career to have good money. So I'll never be able to generate good money through the things that make me passionate because I need a career to have good money. And so that's probably reflecting in people not buying, people not showing up, people not being interested, views being low, self-doubt being high, the trust and you know trust of other people and their money and them applying that money to you you know, being low, you may be not feeling deserving of it. Like there, you see how there's 17 different avenues that one can take this. And it's really important to identify where it comes from, um, to be able to once again, similar to the obsession, find it and heal it. And so I do want to say that even in the manifestation mastery, hundred dollar membership, I, I did launch in there, I think a month back, that was one of the content of how to dissolve your money blockages. It is an old program of mine that I did that is, I believe, five to seven hours long and has a 50-page um, accompanying workbook of homework to identify and heal your money patterns on your own. However, if you're in a scenario where you want to heal your money patterns and you want to work more one-to-one, -one, because it can be a bit multifaceted, um, I will honor for the live people who watch this live and on the replay um, $100 off any call only package and $200 off any call plus text package. All of them come with a personal plan. So if you want to redeem that, just send me a DM and that's my good omen to you guys because we've been in a scenario where right now our current girl is making 10K months in her hair salon business. Um, we had another person do $90,000 in her flower business in 21 days. We had another person become a millionaire and sell her business while working with me. And of course, if you don't know about my success stories, they're probably the biggest, baddest in the business that you're ever going to find. I mean, people doing seven figures in 30 days, um, people doing eight figures in a year, um, 
I even have one success story of a crypto guy who hit 3.5 billion in crypto. Um, so you don't need a business to be able to heal your money issues because whatever your current money experience is, is just a reflection of your belief system. So you don't need to have a business to be able to have limiting beliefs about money. You know what I mean? You don't need to have a business, but it is a very good thing to do to audit your money beliefs around your abundance in general, because I believe that we all deserve to have millions of dollars in our hands, in our bank account. We're here to be abundant. We are not here to struggle. And whether we like it or whether we don't, everything requires money. Everything requires abundance and abundance is one of the top stressors. And so I know people that make 100K months in their business. I know I keep referencing business, but that's because I work with a lot of business people. Um, and they still cry in coffee shops feeling not good enough and like they're far behind in life um, because they're just always comparing themselves to the next level, to the next person, to the person who's doing 250K, to the person who's doing million dollar months. And so if this money seems very often foreign, but you want to be around this type of high vibe person, because think of it this way, if you're somebody that's making even 50K a year, and you're hanging around people that make 100K a year, have you ever heard that like the people that you hang around with, like you're gonna, you're gonna be elevated up to that level, basically, just by your affiliation, right? That's the law of, what did I say before? Um, I can't remember, sorry, my brain is blanking because there's a lot of different things in it and they're going very fast. <laughs> but I hope this is making sense, guys. I hope this is making sense. So I definitely recommend the How to Dissolve Your Money Blockages program inside the Manifestation Mastery course. It's really, really potent, really, really powerful. But I will say probably the people that have gotten the biggest results money-wise have been with a one-to-one -one coach. So if you want the 100 off coupon or the 200 off coupon, uh, comment or send me an email or a DM and I will get it for you. Um, but how to dissolve your money blockages course is in the membership for $100 if you want to try it out. Um, getting back to kind of like the obsession, though, I hope that was helpful to understand is like, remember that hard work does not equal money. Like if there's something I want to say to close this out, I have been working hard my whole life. It wasn't until I mastered my beliefs that I literally manifested $100,000 in 30 days. This is how powerful this work is. You know what I mean? This is how powerful this work is. And so you need to understand that like similar to the obsession work, whether you do it now, whether you do it later, it has to be done. It has to be done. Otherwise, nothing just gets better. You know what I mean? It's like, I guess it doesn't have to be done. If you're happy here, if you're satisfied here, if you don't have a desire for more or better, you don't have an interest to change. That's just not something that's on your priority list right now, you know, but in order to get more or get better, understand that that is a requirement. It's not a suggestion. It's not like an elective, <laughs> like in college, like there's, there's like core subjects. And then there's like electives, like optionals, like this is not an elective. This is not an optional. This is just a requirement. And so um, I want to say that because I want to make sure that it's crystal, crystal clear that do you ever notice how people in their lives, they're able to get anything and everything they want in certain areas. It's because the self-talk they have around that area, it's because the beliefs they have around that area, even though, even though, even though they're maybe not even consciously aware of manifestation, right? They're not even consciously aware of these types of things. Um, guess what happens? Oopsie, sorry. Uh, it says, we have detected inactivity during your current live. We will close it in five minutes. Let's like the live, guys. Guys, let's comment in the live. It's saying the live is inactive, and so therefore it's going to shut it down in, in five minutes. So if you don't want that to happen, start giving shit tons of likes and just drop a bunch of um, maybe sunflowers, I don't know, <laughs> um, emojis in the comment section to make sure it doesn't close. Uh, but anyway... Uh, we need to understand how our energy is influencing things. Like I worked with a girly a while back, loved working with her so much. Um, uh, she did, what did she do? Was it a million dollar sale? She was in sales. She did, I think a million dollar sales. It's like the most sales she ever did. Like she set a record in her company or something like that. I had another girly, like I said, the $90,000 flower girly. Um, I've had people that have worked with us that have gotten raises. I've had other people that have worked with us that have gotten op 
offered like different jobs with double the pay. Like you'd be surprised how much money flows to you when you just deal with the beliefs. You can work until you're blue in the face. You'll never be in a scenario. And I hate to say it, but it's like, I don't hate to say it at the same time because it's just the truth um, where you can't go forward. Like, I don't know how to be clearer. You just can't go forward until you deal with it. So whether you deal with it now or in 10 years, you got to deal with it. You know what I mean? You've got to do, you got, you got to, you got to handle it. You know what I mean? You got to handle your business and it helps to be able to do it when you're laid out all the steps of how to do it. And so the how to dissolve money blockages is an old program of mine. It's actually archived. You can't find it. You can't buy it anymore, but it is in my membership for you to have access to for as long as you're in that membership. Um, so that's kind of a big part of what this live is all about, understanding these universal laws and principles and using them to be able to have something that has a hundred percent success rate. Remember your beliefs are waiting on you to change. As soon as you change your belief systems, your thoughts, your expectations, your emotions, you heal this trauma, you heal these subconscious programs. It has to work immediately. That's why people see results in a week. That's why people see results in two weeks. That's why people see results in a month. You know what I mean? It's because they're shifting the belief. The belief is waiting for you to shift it. Until it shifts, nothing is gonna happen. And so if you guys have any questions about the membership or one-to-one -one coaching, this is the part of the live where I want you to drop it below. This is the part of the live where I want you to drop it below. I want you to understand if you hit the link in my bio, it may flag it, but that it is my bio it is my website, it is safe, and that you can access it and that I encourage you to access it. The one-to-one -one, um, option that I'm gonna give to you guys, $100 and $200 off for call only and then call and text, is only gonna be for the people who see this. It's only gonna be for the people who see this, are on this, or are watching the replay. And it will only be good, okay? <laughs> I'm gonna be very specific, so there's no misunderstandings. Um, it will only be good until Sunday. Okay, Sunday. So the Sunday that's coming up. So a few days. Um, if you see this a year from now, I don't know what to tell you. Um, and so make sure that you reach out and you grab your spot. There's also afterpay and payment plan options as well. Um, we do book out in advance. So make sure you grab it sooner than later. Um, but the membership is a beautiful um, opportunity to be able to have an encyclopedia of information. It's wonderful for you if you are someone that just needs to be told everything of what to do, and then you're going to do it. You're going to put your head and you're going to do it. If I literally tell you the answer key to everything you need to be successful, and that's what you want, and that's what you need, and then you're just going to do it and get the result, the membership is for you. Everybody, I believe, has $100 to be able to move themselves towards their dream life. Um, and it is our most affordable economical option. There are people in the slide that are in the membership and they can testify to the amount of information that is in it, the knowledge and the wisdom. However, I will clarify something that is only $100. It is not going to have me and you sitting down, understanding your blockages, understanding what's going on for you, me and you messaging back and forth a hundred times. You know what I mean? It's not going to have that. That's not what the membership is. The membership is a self-paced tool and resource with a community of high vibe, high value people trying to improve and manifest their dream life across every area of their life. You have a community to be able to post questions and for other people to be able to chime in, have discussions, give input, as well as one group coaching call with me per month. So this is for you if you prefer a self-paced, I'm a go-getter, I don't need all that extra support. If you just tell me what to do, I'm gonna do it. The videos tell you what to do so that you can do it, so that you can facilitate your result yourself. If you desire more support, more customization. That is what occurs in our one-to-one -one coaching. Our one-to-one -one coaching is where we hop on phone calls. We hear about your situation. We hear about your goals. We hear about what you're doing, how long you've been doing it. And through our expertise, being the expert in this field, we point out and see the blockages that you have for you so that you can get a crystal clear plan of what you need to do daily to rewire the brain, 
to reprogram the new beliefs, to release the limiting beliefs, to be able to be supported through the reactions that happen in the 3D, to have a solid, concrete, customized, 100%, you know, it's going to work every time as long as you work it because you can't have a bad reality with changed beliefs. It's just impossible. That's not how the law works. Um, that it's going to work. You know what I mean? It's going to work and you need more support. You need more customization. That is all one-to-one. -one. Now, the difference between option one, which is call only, and option two, which is call and text, is the text. <laughs> so the difference between call only and call and text is the text. Now, the text is something that you have as a premium option. This is the package that almost everyone goes into that desires and feels as if they need somebody to reach out to unlimited. So our coaching business is slightly different. We don't have emails. We don't have DMs. We don't have any of that garbage nonsense BS that doesn't work, okay? We have messaging, okay? Texting messaging. This means that you pay one flat premium fee. Nobody is going to sit here and count your messages. You can send a dozen messages, you can send two dozen messages. You can send five dozen messages. We do not care. You can text us one time. You can text us a hundred times. Nobody is sitting here and counting your messages because we believe that people should have the freedom to be people. That means reach out to us as much as you need within that period of time to be supported. So the doctor doesn't know you have a problem if you do not open your mouth and speak to the doctor. You have, imagine having free reign to my personal number right now. Imagine anytime you have a doubt, a problem, an issue, a worry, a concern, you need um, you know, support, you need a pep talk, you have the ability to just text me whatever you want like your best friend. Imagine that type of access. That has a premium price tag attached to it. If you're willing to pay that premium price, not only do you have unlimited messaging, but you also have the ability to skip the line and get to the front of my calendar, whether it's for me, whether it's for my team. So my team has the exact same option, call only and call and text. If you do the call and text, which is option two, then you're in a scenario where you get to skip the line. You get to go to the front of the line. You get to get the quickest, earliest, fastest first phone call. And on that first phone call, that's where we do all our diagnosing of what's going wrong so we can get it to go right. What's not working so we can get it to work. What part of you is not a match to what you want so that we can make you a match to what you want. It's very, very simple. And so this is what we do. Pardon me. Ow, this hand's are hurting again in one-to-one -one coaching. It's where we diagnose everything for you, draw out the game plan, and support you every step of the way. How it's different from the calls is that all your coaching over there is just done on the calls. You do not have an ability to have the text where you can reach out to us unlimited and be able to message us all day, any day, whenever you want to be able to get that support. The call only is for someone that's a little bit more independent, someone who wants us to problem solve everything for them, give them the plan, and to be able to talk on the phone on these coaching calls as and when they have the slip ups, as and when they need the support, as and when they need the pep talks. And so these are the differences between one versus the other. Um, I hope that makes a lot of sense. Does that make sense, guys? Is there any questions that y'all have about one-to-one -one or the membership up and until this point in time? Any at all? I don't see any, but I just want to ask and make sure. Oh, my hand. <coughs> None. Perfect. I love that. Super clear. Super, super clear. So that's kind of like, that's kind of what I have to say. I mean, unless you guys are interested in Chosen, which has $500 off of that, that is my top mentorship, like premium luxury package, 
where we work together with like only 12 other people. It's very close knit. It's very like top tier um, to be able to heal the childhood trauma, heal the, you know, subconscious mind, you know, heal your love patterns, become the woman that's chosen, get engaged. Like you can see all the engagement links for, or sorry, engagement rings for chosen in the link in my bio. Um, $500 is happening off of that. And that's over like a three month high level mentorship. But outside of that, this is what we currently have going on in Manifest with Persis's world or man. Yes. Um, and so I hope to see you guys in some of these offers. I hope as soon as this live ends that I'm able to let in a bunch of people who decided to take the leap of faith and to come into the $100 membership. Now, I will say one last thing before I go. If you're getting this $100 membership, I highly recommend getting it today, tomorrow, or the next. I'll tell you why. Like I said before, you need the other pieces for the obsession to work. I am releasing the Obsession course on August 1st. This does not mean you have to wait till August 1st to join. Join now so that you can go through my manifestation method, the self-concept course, the EFT tapping course, you know what I mean? So that you can go through the other things. In an ideal world, I'm gonna be super honest as I've been this whole life, it is gonna take you about a month to go through each of these resources. They are at least five to seven hours long, okay? Not only just go through it, but integrate it. In an ideal world, I want you guys to come in and I want you to never leave. You know what I mean? There's great content. There's great success stories. There are people in there that are getting people obsessed with them. There are people in there that are making $10,000 months in their beauty business. There are people in there making $200,000 in 10 days. There are people in there doing big girl, big boy things. There are people in there healing generations of money trauma. There are people in there healing generations of money blockages. You know what I mean? There are people in there that are being reunited with their person. And so everything is a byproduct of our energy, beliefs, expectations, and focus. Okay, if you're in this membership for a couple months, you try to do everything on your own and it's still not working for whatever reason. It probably means you needed the extra support and customization. As a member of the membership, you will have that sale indefinitely as long as you're in the membership. And so you will always have the $100 off calls. You will always have the $200 off call and text. And so if you don't want to just hop in straight to one-on-one -on -one, and you just want to do the membership and then add the coaching later if you need it, you can always do that. But for the people who are just ready to get their shit and get it now and they don't want to deal with all that and they're not, you know, like wanting to go through all that content, they just want to talk to someone and get it done for them and then, you know what I mean, do the work, one-to-one -one is really your thing. And that sale will only last until Sunday. There are afterpay and payment plan options. I hope you guys have really loved this live. It will be on my YouTube and on my IG. So please go to that link in bio. I keep saying it over and over again. Link in bio, link in bio, link in bio. It has the link for the membership so that you can enroll directly. Send me a DM if you have any other needs or requests for the discounted link for coaching. Um, chosen's in my bio. One-on-one -on -one is in my bio. Everything's just basically in the bio. My social media to watch this replay on YouTube is in my bio. My IG in my bio. Everything's in the bio. So just go in the bio. Go click on everything. Go everywhere and get do your follows. Um, this will be up in the next hour or two. And I hope to see you guys very, very soon. I hope this was super helpful. I hope you loved it. I hope you enjoyed it just as much as I did. And we will chat soon. Thank you, guys.